it probably is. <coughs> mm. but I think Super 8 came in in the mid to late 60s so if it was earlier it would have been Standard 8 which is the different cog size that's all uh -huh. yeah, so it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't have sound it would only be vision yeah I've got a lot of uh, uh, Super 8 and Standard 8 there yeah uh, you know, somewhere in one of my clients actually copies it now as a tra at his trade. All right. I should take them back and get it. He's he's a retired, you know, like your age, and he does, and he bought all the gear to do his own stuff, and he does it for pocket money. Um, he did a, put a um, built burnt a DVD of um, a video I had from audiology things, and I think he charged me thirty dollars, and I think he spent. <laughs> five hours editing and putting it in, I haven't even looked at it once since, but yeah. um, I, well, be interesting, I should yeah. take a bundle back with me and see what yeah. his deal is. Yeah. It, there'll be people around yeah. here that do it, but if they charge you a commercial rate, they're going to charge you 200 bucks a film to do it, which yeah. is hardly worthwhile. I, I had fond hopes that Ted would learn how to do it. Yeah, and with his school. Yeah, with his training yeah. that he's going through at the moment, and that's part of the course apparently. But, uh, to worried. film editor and do that sort of stuff. Yeah. Mm. I'm just thinking of the kangaroo shot from the early Anglesey Golf Club and yeah. some of the baby mm. ones and things. I remember you, uh, I've got a, a vision of you trotting down the 15th fairway, the totter, totter, totter in, the, in your little green mm. whatever, pullover or coat or something. Um, but that, that when you would have been two or three then. Mm. <coughs> probably the red coat that Mum sent up that Leslie's probably chucking away this week on down here. <laughs> you know, all the baby shoes and all those yeah, things. Yeah. I put them in the display cabinet. And of course, all adults that come along say, oh, how lovely to have those things. And Leslie's saying, oh, that shit, got to chuck that out. Mm. So as I said, that's the sort of stuff I'll probably have to recover on. The bin, the bin day's not till Friday next week, so I've got a chance to recover it all unless <laughs> she's taken it. But they're the sort of things she's, what do you keep this shit for? Her family doesn't have anything like that. And... Um, I was just trying to do another photo book. Um, I actually, there's a Mother's Day special. When's, is it Mother's Day today? Tomorrow? Or well, something coming up? I don't know. Anyway, in, in the Sunday and May. Yeah, in the um, photo book pool, you know, like the one I got done for you last time, hmm. um, they've got a major discount for coming out to Mother's Day. I thought, well, nothing to do with Mother's Day. I'll just use the discount to get another book done. Then I started to do it. And then I realised we've actually got no photos of Leslie because every time we try to take a photo, she puts her hands up. So the kids and I were joking, saying I should do a photo book of 45 pictures of her all with her hands up or snarling and saying, don't take that. <laughs> <laughs> and do a whole book of Mothers for Mother's Day of all the pictures where she's saying, fuck off to you the whole time. <laughs> and the kids think that'd be, here's, here's the best pictures we've got of Mum, and this is each time she's turned away or looked or <laughs> refused to do it. I think that'd be quite poignant, wouldn't it? It would be, yeah. <laughs> To have a collection of them. Um, I was thinking, I don't know, I was going to ask 